Hey everybody! Mega Nintendo Wolf flying in on Zephyr. As we recall from the last episode, because I'm bad at recall recalling, we talked to that Minish here. Yes, that Minish. And um, he told us to go to the library. So let's pull out our new acquired Ocarina of Wind, and for some reason not the wind element, and go to uh, Hyrule Town, let's say, to check out that library. But you know what, being the sort of person I am, we'll decide to go to the library right there, but sidetrack right now, and go get some heart pieces. Yay, trolling you guys. Possibly. Ooh, okay. Anyway, if we go in here, we have Simon. Ho oh, ho there, we're uh, here, we are. You're welcome to Fabulous. Simon Simulation. Would you like to hear about us? Uh, yeah, go for it. Ho oh, ho, we're suddenly now. How should I put this? We offer you the chance to be the hero you dream of becoming. We allow you to fight around monsters without any danger. <coughs> yeah, bullshit. <laughs> This is a unique service now. I can't say this is this too loudly, but if you dispatch a monster skillfully enough, you might get something nice. Now, even though you, this is the only a simulation, it it is still not for the faint of heart. If you should die in a simulation, well then, well I don't know. Yeah, it's safe. Right, sure. It's it's never happened. <laughs> It's a hundred rupee. It's a ten rupees per try. You interested? I'll do it. I'll see you again then. Well, let me get your hair fired up. Now you're getting very sleepy, so very sleepy. Ho he, ho, huzzah! Yes. His annoying voice hurts my brain. Oh fuck! That was quick and the action. Basically, you get a piece of heart if you kill these people quick enough. Oh fuck. Fuck fuck. Get off me. Rupee person Kinto. Die please. I'm trying to do sword techniques. Listen to my sword techniques. This isn't too hard compared to what it gets because this is can get really annoyingly evil. And Kinstones. Collect Kinstones. Come on. Right buddy. I know you look cool in that but can you die? But I thought they looked more like cats than Keatons, which are actually foxes, but come on. You may cost me a heart piece. Now die. Thank you. Yay! Yay, yeah, I got it! Heart piece right there. Click just one more, increase your Ooh, okay. I don't mind that. Don't mind that at all. Wake up, Link. Aw, oh, there's loads of sleepy head. Oh, well, how was it? Did you enjoy the ride? Please come back and try it again anytime. We're always open, selling dreams to John Q. Public. Yes, sir. Who's John Q? I want to know. Anyway, now that we've done that, I'll meet you guys over at Hyrule Castle Town. Wait, no. I'll meet you over at Hyrule Castle. Okay, basically we're here now, which is good. That's always good, getting to the place we want to be. Uh, head over here. You see all these... That's a golden rope, isn't it? Uh, I'll resist to fight you because I have too much money and you'll probably overload my wallet. Anyway, cut down this grass here. And you'll find a ladder. Of course, as I showed you, and I'm not talking in time, really. Because I'm saying it after it happens. So, my commentary is now useless. Yay. Piece of heart! Yay. Ah, oh, sweet. Anyway, talk to this red-headed guy. You found a true master, Sarsman Hyrule Grimblade. If you train with me, I'll teach you a skill you've never imagined. But the room is dark and I cannot see your face. We cannot train like this. Yeah, unfortunately, we have to light those torches over here. And over here. To actually train with this guy. Which we can't do yet, which is rather a shame, really. It's not like we have to... No, 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 fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, leave me alone. I'm only a green-hatted... A green-esload boy. Sorta. 
Okay. Anyway, get out your Pegasus boots. As you can see, that tree is now shining, which is kind of good. Yay, contributing to deforestation. And we, as you can see, we actually have, like, the second bar of hearts now, which is awesome. Even though it's an American word, but oh well. I use it too much anyway. And that snake teleport rope. Can it hurt me this time? Yes it can, yes it can. In the bush, in the bush, in the bush. Oh, Mish. He can be fused. A visitor, how rare. I don't love sure enough for it, but you're welcome to stay. Okay, yeah, he has... To Look all those kinstone pieces on his shelf. I want them. I, look, I like little knickknacks like that. They're cute. I hope he still can't see me. Anyway, head along here after you talk to him. So remember him if you need to fuse keystones later. Kinstones. Um. Okay, we get some shells from going through there. Uh, maybe there was a piece of heart somewhere. But, I don't know. I thought that's where you got it. But obviously you have to go down those stairs as a big person. But I will. I'll get to that in a second after we check out this fountain as well. And we get more mystery mysterious shells. Okay. I'm... Am I tripping over my words again? Why did I... No. Okay, I'm just going to class myself as crazy and cut and meet you guys back there. Say hello to my little friend. Run! Okay, yes, piece of heart number two in this episode. And I'm obviously disturbing my dog. Because he was asleep and I just woke him up. Uh, right. The next piece of heart we have to get is... On Mount Corona. So, yeah. Basically, this piece of heart is all the way where the hermit was. So, I'll obviously just cut and meet you guys there. Dum diddy dum diddy dum dum bum. Okay, after my random singing outbreak that you're obviously not going to hear because I cut it out, dig through these holes. And you're probably wondering, wow, the moments are getting quite a bit of use. Yes, they do. You have to dig loads of holes for them, which is good. I'm glad they didn't knock the site off, as it's actually quite. It's probably one of the. Um, I don't know. Probably apart from the. Uh, Probably these are the second most used item that I end up using that you get in dungeons, probably. Mainly because the other lot are pretty much not used a lot. And do I miss the snake worm thing, you? Thank you. Piece of heart! Which is good. Let's explore the rest of this cave because I can't quite remember what else is in here. And you guys might as well see it on the screen. Die, you chew. Boomerang, please. Fairies! Or however Rocker would say it. Dun, dun, dun. So basically, there's a bit of a story behind these moments that I didn't actually mention in the um, temple. Don't know why, it just came to mind right now. But they're actually like... Um, these were items were brought back in a uh, later Zelda game called the Mogma Mits, or the Molmits, possibly. Ah, that, okay, yep, that's all that's back here. Something to fuse with keystones, but you, I'm not going to do that now. We can do it now, because it offered to, but we can't. I'm not going to do it now. Basically, the Mogma invented these items. The Mogma are a mole-like race existing in Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. And I really like how they bring items back like that, or how they use items in the future, sort of thing. Anyway, I'm gonna cut now, because we've done all the boulders. We've done all the heart pieces we can do for now. Possibly, yes, for now, those. And I will see you back in Hyrule Castle Town. There are two Zephyrs. Change my mind, we're going to uh, Windcrest over here. 
Okay. Um. Did you see that? Did you see that? I've never seen that before in this game before. Nor heard those bangings. Was that the Pico Bloom coming to life? Maybe I walked in at just the right time, but I'm not sure that's never happened to me before. That has never happened to me before. The Pico Blooms literally just came to life as I walked up here. I, I have not seen that before and that has never happened to me before. That is freaking awesome! Look, six, the successfully grown a boo Pico Bloom! Thank you, thank you, I'm so grateful for your help. I'm working on the next Pico Bloom enchantment, but I need a red potion to finish only a... I knew you could find me found. I wish I could bring me some... She wants some red potion, yeah? I think. And I don't think we can get that yet. I'm not too sure. I'll be cutting and telling you whether you can or not, or where you can get it, or where you can't, right now. Okie doke. And the witch syrup's up. And... Oh no. Ah, oh, welcome. Careful from Granny's blue potion. We needed red, didn't we? Um... We can't get that yet. So, yep, sorry for misleading you on. Um... Well, I don't want to end this episode on a bad note, so... I guess I could... Cut and meet you in Hyrule Town. Okay, basically we're now going to find out what that Pick Bloom does. Oh, well, hello, come come back by. Oh, Blue Pick right. that's amazing stuff. It helps you find, find items. Take care. Um, no, I don't want to buy it. Amazing, helps you find items. Okay, yeah, basically that's bombs, arrows. Not sure if it implies blue shell, uh, blue mysterious shells. I'm not too sure on that. But yeah, I think I'm going to end this off here for now for this episode because, um, well, just because I might be running out of time. I'm not too sure. I've cut too much in this episode to check. So I'll see you guys then. He can jump high. Anyway, goodbye, people. 